Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Tune Series 6, number 31. So, as you can probably see, I'm in Inferno again. Yes, we are. It's another dailies grind. Yes, it is. And I am not feeling very well. No, no. Not sure what's going on, whether it's a virus or something, but hey. These things happen, but the grind goes on. So yeah, I haven't logged in all day yesterday, I don't think. Nope, didn't log in. Wasn't very well. Still don't feel 100%, to be honest, but there you go. Haven, are they still going? Well, uh, nice. Glad they are. Okay, pet is stuck already. Woohoo! Nicey muck nice. So, yeah, we're just charging along, doing more research and everything else. Because, well, frankly, there's not a lot else. To do with this tomb now it's building up now finishing off everything and then looking at getting alphas in there's still a bunch of hud items i need to fix and definitely we shall be needing a lot of that just to be able to cast the 225 pet that is the sort of end goal for me for this character is as long as you can cast that 225 pet I'll be uh, I'll be kind of satisfied with him otherwise I may feel a bit uh, I could have done better there couldn't I you know kind of deal but you know how it is I might start another let's build series and yeah what generally happens is I end up kind of getting bored of the last one as you could see I still haven't finished off half of them I think the NT was the only one I really went to town with on it you know, went went the whole hog and made her completely end game. Wow, first kill. Okay. Yeah, you can go back and follow. And I'm gonna go running back to the garden. Yes I am. And we can move again. Right, let's go get this handed in. I'm pretty sure the Arbiter's gone. I haven't seen any of the blue named Herald of the Arbiter guys anywhere, so I'm thinking he's definitely gone. But I will go and check him out. Best click on the doja first though, hey. Done that before, gone running in and then Yeah, they're not available. <laughs> I think we're safe to hand in. I'm almost certain we do not have our friendly arbiter this week. It'd be next week I think. Found a doja chip. You watch, I'm gonna get out and find out. Oops, yes he's there. There you go. Goodbye. I do like this area. I mean, the whole game looks great. Once the sun is shining, you get the benefit of the sunbeams. Yes, you do. So I was actually giving some thought as to what to actually do in regards to AO on the channel going forward. Another let's build. I was reading through the comments, do a froob, you know, and that might be fun again. And miraculous pet loss again. Oh, I hate this. Why does this even happen? Why did my main pet just disappear like that? When did it disappear? I'll have to watch the footage back. I didn't notice until just now. And I looked and went, oh, why? Why is that still a f thing in this game? It's really freaking annoying. Right, let's put those on, that on, that on. 
Imagine what that's like if you've just gone off and got like wrangles and a bunch of buffs just to cast your pet and then it poops on you like that. You're going to be pretty cheesed off. And that has been a bug in the game since day one. So seven, literally 17 years of the same bloody bug. Still not fixed. There's no great hardship at this level to recast, but it is an annoyance. Seriously is. Right, AI daily, what did we get? We got a few others. Terminate alien cocoons so. are. Okay. It is what it is. I think I'm going to do it exactly the same way we did it last time. Yes, I am. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, pet guard. I don't have them on. I'll put them on there. I mean, the alien XP from killing these mobs is so low. It's um, almost not worth bothering with. <laughs> Which sounds ridiculous, but trust me, it's a thing. Okay, pets back on guard. Another alien cocoon. First aid there. If it didn't have this cooldown timer, this mission would be even easier to do. Yes, it would. Mm, Healy, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Alien cocoon, you're the last one. Hmm, not getting an update music. Did I miss one back here? Should be... Oh, I did, yeah. You're the last one. There you go. No good blitzing it if you don't get all the things you need. See ya. Where's the... There's the ramp. I guess while we're here we could check on the Arbiter being up or not, although I'm almost positive he won't be as he was up last week. Don't get stuck on that silly grey box. No, I won't. Or at least I will try not to, indeed. Yeah, it has put a bit of a damper on my enthusiasm for the game. But yeah, just feeling um, tired, I guess. Really weird. Not not actually sick, but just kind of like um, I did something the other day that, you know, if, if, you, if you do a 10k run or something, it's like the day after you're okay, but the day after that you really, it hits you. Yeah, weird kind of thing like that, but I've not actually you know done anything particularly stressful in any way it's just been you know the usual stuff i mean i still lug big heavy lumps of equipment around but hey that's a thing now then we were going to quickly check on the arbiter i'm pretty positive he is not up but we will go and check just to be a hundred percent No, ain't nobody back here, look. Yep, definitely not. And I did hand in to Ralph, I did. No idea what I would buy with those points that I got, though. Slow zone is slow. And yes, the curse of the music has actually come back to haunt me. Yes, it has. Right, let's go and talk to the warden. The Blue Flash. That's a good name for a Smurf. I has a Smurf as well. Smurfs are cool. Um, get to the end of the waveform. Thank you. <laughs> that's not me doing that. That's just how the engine reads. You know, those, those actual sound files. I should just go in and, and edit that file, but I think it breaks the login thing. You know, it runs a check on the files. It does now, anyway. And because we completely lack imagination, diseased prisoner. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm also thinking, you know, one of these days, 
this game will shut down, has to happen eventually. And then what do I do with the YouTube channel? I don't know, I guess. What do I do with the free time I would have spent playing the game and making videos? It, it's a bit of a morbid thought process, that, but uh, I did think about it. You know, there's a bunch of you only subscribe purely for the AO stuff, and that's fine, I, I get it. I mean, that's what you want to watch, that's what you want to watch. Um, but I, I don't know, would I go and just abandon this channel and start a new one? You know, if, if the game just vanished. Because I can't make AO content without the game. I mean, I can make nostalgia stuff. That the, Someone almost certainly will make a third-party server, which will get shut down. But it'd never be the same. No, it wouldn't. That's the thing with nostalgia. It is awesome. But, you know, you really can't go back in time. And the other thing I always think with nostalgia, it's as much about what you remember, but also about who you were when you remembered those things. Like, it's like me. If I think back to the original Star Wars and how mind-blowing it was, I have to remember I was eight years old watching it in a cinema. And previous to that, we, we'd had Doctor Who, you know, and the original Star Trek, which was awesome. Uh, in terms of plot devices and, and all that. But you don't know that when you're eight. You're just aware that it's a great story and you're engrossed in it and it's spaceships. But then, you know, <clears throat> original Star Wars aired. And I remember that. I went to see it three times in the 70s. It did not say A New Hope anywhere in the titles. It just said Star Wars. That was it. The Fleetway Star Wars annual I had just said Star Wars all the original toys from where was it Palatoy I, you know I can't remember the names but I had like a bunch of them yeah I probably broke most of them as well but yeah I mean I think some of them went scuba diving in the toilet and the bath and some went in dirty puddles outside and you know all kinds of all, all the stupid things you do with your toys as a kid now they're worth big money if they're still in a box and yeah, well, if I had them, I'd just sell them. I mean, my son's too old for that kind of thing, by a long margin now. You know, it's kind of silly. But it is what it is. I mean, th this is the thing. You remember things in a nostalgic way, and I think that's what relates to AO. I mean, I, I still love the game. I still love to play the game. I love the atmosphere, the world, the interesting mechanics, which don't seem that complicated anymore but they of course nothing does when you completely understand it and you've been doing it a long time it's like a lot of things really you know but i can never get back how it felt to play the game in 2001 you know when the graphics were award-winning seriously i kid you not they won awards for uh, sound design they won awards for graphics and animation it really was a massive thing when the game came out, despite having probably one of the worst game launches of its time. Nothing else had, had failed quite so badly as Anarchy Online on launch. You couldn't leave a backyard when you did. You got all kinds of mad, you know, graphical glitches and falling through the floor and just crazy stuff, you know. And that's it. Had it launched... Um, as it is now, it would have been like, wow. Because because it wouldn't have had that negative thing. I mean, wow. I, I, I hate the graphical design of the game. Don't like it. Didn't like it day one. Don't like it now. I do not like it. Simple as that. People go, oh, you should play wow. No, I don't like it. It looks like complete arse to me. I don't like the way the graphics look. I don't like the style of the game. And then, of course... You've got this really rigid mechanics within the game. Don't get me wrong, we try. I did try it. And for the first hour, I think I levelled up about four times. I was like, well, how do I go to my skill menu? You know, how do I go here and, you know, decide what I'm doing? And the answer basically was, you can't. It does it all automatically. All you can do is put certain items 
in slots. And I was like, really? Well, what if I want to use this weapon? Oh, you wouldn't use that weapon on that class. And I suddenly realised why I liked AO. See, in that, in that moment, I was like, oh. So, you know, I made the accusation that it was a bit of a Fisher-Price game. You know, it wasn't really a serious game. And yet, look how big it became. It was easy, clearly, you know. The, the playing of the game was literally that. It, activating things you had down here. But yeah, it just never appealed. Then Star Wars Galaxies came out and everyone, oh, that's going to kill off Anarchy Online, nothing will ever top it, blah, blah, blah. Sadly, you know, I thought that was a pretty good game, but I couldn't play that and AO. Had, let's say, AO shut down back then, I probably would have gone to Star Wars Galaxies. And then, oh, look how much more advanced the graphics are. Well, they always are at the beginning, but don't forget they were still literally only using rasterization, which is basically cheating things to look. So, so if you imagine something's made in 3D first in the computer model that you don't see, and then represented in 2D as realistically as possible, and that's, and that's all we've had, this new RTX thing, the, the um, ray tracing. That's good. It's a step in the right direction, but you're not going to get graphics looking that much better until they go for... It's not called ray tracing, it's path tracing, which is kind of what we have in reality. You know, that's how you perceive the real world. And uh, that's a way off, but we're not going to get there with that. I mean, rasterization pretty much didn't get any better since the original Crisis. That was it. That's as far as you can go with it. Everything else you see in a game that looks more impressive is a trick. It, it's a refinement of what was done in the CryEngine. That's it, nothing else. I mean, reflections aren't a new thing in a game, are they? Had those for quite a long time. We had reflections in Deus Ex, the original game. I remember seeing them. I was running it on a Voodoo 3 with... What did I have? Was it he had you had to install mini glide and a couple of things like that to get it working? And you know, nobody was running much over 480p resolution. And it wasn't in 16 by 9 either, it was in 4x3. Like a photograph. Um, you know, so it was kind of weird almost that you know the well, yeah, the, the whole thing, well, look at these real-time reflections. Yeah, but we had them in the 90s. We had them in Unreal Tournament, which, I mean, the original Deus Ex used basically the same Unreal Engine from then and looked amazing. You know, and I'd not long finished that game, or, you know, because I played it obsessively. I think I played every, every which way you could because it was such a massive game in terms of scope. You know, the way, different ways you could... Um, Forgotten what I was saying now. I was saying, I'm getting, why am I taking damage? I forgot something important. Yes, I forgot the hyper radiation, whatever, bloody goggles. That horse shit. Yeah. Anyone here? Nobody here. What I was saying, oh yeah, the, the other game. So going all the way back to where I started on this complete and utter ramble is what would I do after AO's gone? Because eventually it's going to go. We don't like to think about it. You know, I like to enjoy the game while we're here and play it etc but you know sooner or later it's going to go and a lot of people come back to the game having watched my videos i think for, for whatever reason when they watch me play it it basically you know takes them it, it tickles that nostalgia bone and you know they find themselves drawn back to it you know which is good it's good to see players come back if we suddenly had a million players playing the game you know maybe funcom would actually pay attention to it you know, just saying. I mean, they're not going to with the amount of players we've got. I wish they would, but they're just not going to. I mean, they, they, they did well with eventually made a Conan game that caught on. I mean, it took long enough, but how many attempts was that? It was like, I don't know. And I'm, I'm no interest in playing it. What? It, I mean, <clears throat> if it was a standalone game, yeah, maybe. But uh, an MMO based in the Conan universe? Well, of course, you're you're going to go on and you're going to want to be either a wizard or Conan. 
And but the thing is, so were thousands of other people. Yes, they are. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe, maybe I would play something else. Maybe I would play. Oh, I don't know. Uh, what could we play? Warframe, for instance, which is. Uh, I don't even know if Warframe is an MMO. In the truest sense, I, I, I mean, they've got the guild housing and stuff, which is nice. But essentially, I, I just play that game solo. It's not like you can go to a town where a, a load of people are. There's like three or four areas where you can do that. Um, like the the stations and Cetus Town, etc. You, you don't go out onto Cetus and explore. As soon as you go out onto Cetus, that is your, um, you know, uh, sorry, onto the plains of Eidolon. That is your planes. Simple as that. They'd, no one else, anyone else exiting, gets their version of the planes. So there's no kind of central server, so to speak, as the way AO and all other MMOs are set up. So there's a server supporting everybody that's at a particular place in the game. So, for instance, if I go to Athen now, or West Athen, more accurately. If I go here now, anybody standing around here on this server will see me in real time. Whereas in Warframe, me running around any area, unless you know you're you're in a team with them, they're getting their own version. They're not in the same one you are. So you never see anybody unless you go to somewhere like one of the um, lunar, whatever they call it, space stations orbiting the planet. And you go there and all you can see is thousands of people stood about trying to sell things, which is fair enough. You know, so you can walk around and look at it and look at the items they've got to sell. But, you know, I mean, there are a great bunch of people playing that game. That much I can definitely say. But, yeah, it just doesn't tickle the MMO feel for me. It's like now, I can come out of here and like there's, there's, there's a channel that we can all be talking on. I can look around and see like, there's someone from Athen, Athen Paladins. The entire game is like that, if you think about it. Anywhere in AO, other than instanced places. So if you do an instanced, instanced, you know, you do iPand, that's yours. Whereas real Pand, the original Pand, what would happen is people would go off to do a raid so they'd go through the gate and kill the portal boss and get to the start of Pandemonium. And other teams could come charging in behind them. You know, it, it could turn into a, a full kind of battle kind of thing. That's not the case. And the PvP mechanism in um, in Warframe, I don't think hardly anyone plays it. It's really weird. It's like suddenly all the gear you have doesn't exist and you've got to play with new gear. And I'm just like, what? And it was a bit like that in um, Star Wars um, The Old Republic, which I, I didn't mind that game. The, the art style was good. It was Star Wars, you know. But the big problem for me with it was essentially the game mechanics where you know, same old thing. I mean, I remember I had a character, he was all kitted out, looked awesome, had all the purples, all, all the right stuff in all the right slots, and then they just changed one mechanic in the game, go, power no longer does this, now it's crit. And you had to completely change your character, and you thought, well, okay, it's not like it happens all the time. And of course, yes, it did. But then you'd have all this gear, and then they'd, they'd move the goalposts on you. Like, literally, you'd be like, okay, we're all set, I'm level 55, let's say. And they went, okay, new stuff. And all this stuff that you'd spent millions making in-game, like, literally, end-game money to make. And I was in a guild called Spark of Insanity, who were making a stack of money in that game, buying and selling stuff. And, and what they were doing was, um, you made the stuff in your own inventory, but they, they had people just constantly farming the materials to build it. Selling the materials, people would buy the materials and then pay someone with enough skill to make the item for them and sell it back to them. 
you know, so they'd already bought the materials from the person. Oh, it was nuts, the amount of cash they were making, um, which was kind of cool, you know. But but then, you know, the next thing would come out and immediately all the gear you had, all this top of the line, and you know, that you could only get from a raid, all these rare drops that you win in, in rolls and stuff, were suddenly crap because the basic entry-level green stuff that dropped in the new instance was better than everything you were wearing. So suddenly your, your tomb was like complete cack. And then if you went to do um, PvP, the gear you wore, good as it was generally, was complete garbage for PvP. You couldn't do any damage, you couldn't take any damage. You know, at least in a a, a a PVM player can at least fight in PvP. They're not going to be geared towards PvP like PvP players are, but PvP is essentially broken in bloody AO anyway. It always has been. So, yeah. The other thing with the channel, I was just thinking out loud here, but the we're end of chapter on Skyrim now. I'm not sure where to go with that next either. Very few of you seem to want to watch it. I will carry on with it. You know, I am enjoying it. I really enjoyed Falscar. I'm going to probably make uh, just a single video about Falscar all on its own. About how good I thought that was as a, as a mod. And just, you know, how it kind of has set the bar. But um, that aside, I'll go on a chapter break and I'm looking for something fun to play in between that and I've had a few suggestions someone suggested play Porthole 2 I have played that game so it wouldn't be a mystery but seriously I can't remember a lot of it I remember I remember that it's Portal you know but that's about it I don't remember much about you know what you could or couldn't do what the story was exactly I remember it starts off with Wheatley who's played by an English actor uh, a very and comedy writer who is he's very versatile I think but he starts off with that voice and I just thought he was very very funny doing the intro for it and ultimately all the way through it but yeah I will probably give that a go I don't know how that would pan out for like a mini let's play I thought it'd be more fun to do the two player version the co-op with someone and record that you know and all the banter you could have like you could flip switches so someone got flung off the, the side because you insta die, but you insta instantaneously come back as well, don't you? So, you know, you could you could have quite a bit of fun with that, I guess. Right, I should probably get down on the deck here and hope that I don't lose another pet. I'll look back at the video and see exactly where it was I lost the pet. So I honestly don't know. I know it was at some point coming back from Job. I may have lost it before that and just not noticed. Right, let's give... Yeah, he got the buff. Alright, let's chase around balls. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, I was uh, just thinking about it today, really. What would I do next kind of thing. Can I give him... I can give him that, but I can't give him... No, wrong pack. Can I give him... Nope. Can't give him any stuff, really. Uh, okay. Another dog. I'm going to leave that. Sometimes I grab two, and you can. Nothing to stop you grabbing two. I'm not sure why that's the case, why you would want two of them. But you can do that. But it's a bit unfair on the next person out here. Yes, I am just completely going off one tangent to the next. So, yeah, going back to it, what, what would I do? Would I start another channel focusing on another game because the way youtube kind of works a channel has to have a focus and that works for youtube but that doesn't really work for me because reasons <clears throat> you know because i like a, a great variety of things you know but oh if you're this channel that's the only stuff you should make people only watch that channel well what about the, the vlogger type channels? Because in that case, you're saying that the person you're watching is a brand that you like. And I suppose essentially they are. So I'm gonna send Lefty on that. 
you dare kill my pet, I'm gonna put uh, Healy on him. Bloody wog. You dare hit my Enigma dog and I will kill you. Oh, of course it doesn't make him attack, does it? Okay, lefty, back and follow. I hate the Enigma dogs. Uh, not the Enigma dogs, the wargs and whatnot. But can I grow your pet? I like the footsteps sound. See, there's two here. Right. Ah, pet's in the way. I want a mouse over that ball. Pull it here. Wow, that was green, that other one. Come on. Well done. I think this is the last one, isn't it? Yay! Okay. And... Have you found a third? Oh. Oh well. <laughs> found an extra one. But we didn't need it, so I left him there. Did he have anything funny to say? Mystical pet Healy. Enigma dog. Ding dong! The witch is dead. Very good. Very cool. Yeah, so... Where do we go from here? You know, when AO dies, does the channel die kind of thing? And, uh, oh, you can only make videos about X, Y, Z. You know, you can't make videos outside of that scope. That's kind of how... Um, that's kind of how YouTube works. They don't... They, they like, you know, a very direct, simple brand. And it's like... Well, okay. Here's another brand for you. You ready? Sony. What does Sony make? One hell of a lot of stuff. You know, from movies to consoles to home entertainment systems, you know, TVs, monitors. It, it's massive. Electronic goods, movies. You know, there's a lot going on there. There really is. Let's go and hand these missions in. And yet, that's a, that's a brand. But in YouTube, it's like... If you're a channel that does... I mean, there's some channels out there that get massive views on their Warframe videos. And as soon as they try and put anything else on the channel, it just gets, like, zero views. It's, like, clear. And, and yet, you'll get people will go on this massive ego trip that somehow their viewership is all down to them. And it kind of is a bit. I mean, it is, it is partly down to you but it's certainly not all of it because you will get like like me it's like i'll get 2000 views on an ao video about a particular thing and then i'll get 30 on a skyrim video so it's not me is it i'm not the common denominator there i put just as much work into the skyrim videos as i do into an ao video however the your, the reach isn't there. If I put a, an AO video out, um, or I search YouTube for Anarchy Online, uh, a lot of my videos come up. A lot of Sharp Tony's video com comes up, and there's a couple of others here and there. But those people don't make regular content for AO. So it doesn't really show up. And yeah, someone out there might have really, really good videos um, and content, but just nobody can find it. Nobody can see it. It's hidden. And that's kind of a problem with YouTube really I mean they, they do that promoted thing I, I had that you know they were trialing that so when you clicked on subscriptions you didn't get your subscriptions so you didn't see the channels you wanted to see you saw a bunch of random crap which yeah okay but I'd sort of like glance through and go no I want to go to my subscriptions thanks and and that would be kind of annoying after a while and then it, it stopped doing it i think they trialed it and found people just pretty much ignored it so yeah where are we we're getting to the end of this one 
for reasons. But I can't go any further on apotheosis until we get what? AI 25. And we have AI 22. Whoa, no, we've got AI 23. I need to put it somewhere. When did I get that? I don't remember getting that. Um, ancient knowledge, I guess, for now. There you go, you can go in there. Woohoo! Nano in it, 50. <laughs> oh, no, what was it? Max Nano, 90. Nano in it, 6. Oh, God. Yeah, that's powerful at this level, isn't it, boys and girls? Yes, it is. So, yeah, there we go. I am, um, yeah, kind of ugh, today. Maybe it's just because uh, I don't feel so good. I'm being in a negative mood about things. Not really. You know, I'll still be here playing the game tomorrow. But, yeah, for now, I shall leave it there. And we'll uh, we'll see how we go on. Okay, folks. Bye for now.